whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Words from today's Gospel according to St. John. May the friends, death is both personal and relational. Personal because we all experience death. We always say we do not know when. Relational because we can all relate uh, to the mystery of death because as I've said all of us are going there so death is a mystery it's both personal and um, relational um, I'd like you to think about this my dear friends because except uh, nowadays when we have the pandemic pandemic because it's all over the world uh, not many accompany the dead person to the cemetery uh, for burial uh, we know for reasons a lot of different reasons but the main reason is we're all scared because of uh, the contagious uh, pandemic disease there is around us the spread of the pandemic disease and at the same time, we are refrained from uh, gathering a big crowd this time. So usually, uh, previous years, um, we always witness a lot of people during wake and during the burial. So come to think of it, uh, how many people would pay you their last respect when you die how many people do you think would pay their last respect to you when you die the answer to this with their brothers and sisters is depending on the goodness that you have shown to the world that you have sown to everyone's heart because the goodness that you show to the world will come back to you both in life and in death so many people will attend and pay you their last respect if you were good to them when you were still alive so it means to say that besides popularity besides being famous because we know also that it's a fact that people would go to the burial, uh, accompany the dead person to the burial for the fact that the person is famous, popular, maybe a rock star, uh, a famous uh, uh, athlete or whatnot. But the main factor of people gathered, the quantity of people paying their last respect to you is love, the kind of love, as I've said, that you have shown to the world that you have sown to everyone's heart when my father who was uh who he died i think uh I'm not, if i'm not mistaken at the age of 55 he was still very young um when he was alive he would always say i may be poor but i am rich rich with friends we don't understand this at first we only came to understand this when he died because a lot of people people from nowhere we do not know who those people are they came to our house to, to pay respect to the dead Lolito to my to my father we don't know them from the main gate uh, until uh, what is this uh, our house they started crying and we wonder who this person is, who these persons are or were. We don't know them. Why? Because these are the people that the, my father, whose lives my father touched. People he helped that we do not know. So we, men, we understood what when he said that I may be poor financially, materially, but rich because of friends, because of those people that helped that he had helped when he was still alive same with my mother it's still very very fresh she was just buried 
um, a day ago. And um, even before she died, both people from here and people in the Philippines, they would approach me and say, Father, we are always praying for your mom. We know that she is a good, good person. She's a helpful woman. She's a good mother. She's a good grandmother, a good neighbor, and all of those good things that they can see. Of course, my mom, just like anybody else, is not perfect. She has his ups, she has his downs, she has his weaknesses, she has his, her strength. But maybe because of COVID, it was only most of the families who attended the wake and the funeral because we were only given three days. The local government unit had only given us three days for wake and during the funeral, only the members, immediate members of the family. But I know um, without the COVID, I believe a lot of people would accompany her to her burial mm, when she was uh, buried. So um, this is still, there is still a chance that the Lord has given. I know, my dear friends, that each one of us are trying our very best to sow good seeds to the world. And hopefully those seeds will grow will mature and then will uh, bear fruits of 30, 60, or 100 fold. If not, if it's not enough goodness that we have shown to our people and eventually to God, we still have the time. The mere fact that we can still do something good and avoid evil, that is it. Hmm? So if you come to think of it, it's really not that important. The quantity of people who would pay us our last respects it's just an accidental it's just uh, a show to the people that you are a good person what is important is the goodness of your heart the love that you have shared that you have given to every person on earth not just to our family but to everyone another point that I'd like to share with you is um, this uh, text from the gospel whoever loves his life loses it and who doesn't love life we all love to live that is why we try our very best to obtain to maintain um, good health if we feel something wrong we run to the doctor right away for a checkup we don't have to wait for that annual checkup we go right away to check if there is wrong with our blood, with our heart, with whatever it is. Because we don't want to die. We want to live. And other people uh, try to exert more effort to live comfortably. Work and work and work in order for them to earn much to the point that some of them forget what is essential, what is important. And what is important is not money. Well, we need money in order for us to live. But when we die, we leave money behind. We leave everything behind. What is important is our relationship with God. So we try to exert effort to earn money in order for us to live and maybe to give a comfortable life to our brothers, our sisters, to the members of our family, but we should never, never forget what is essential, and that is to be connected to God, to have a relationship with God. So if we only live and try to live without God, then we will lose our life, and that is according to the gospel. Now, if, uh, uh, if we hate this life, the life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. It doesn't necessarily or literally mean that we have to hate living in this world because life is one of the best gifts that God has given us. Mm -hmm. But as I've said and as the gospel says, uh, uh, if, we, if we hate it, meaning to say, um, we live in order for us to get to heaven 
then we will preserve it. We will preserve our life uh, for eternal life. And that is where we are, that's where we are being called for. All of us are being called for eternal life. And I wish that this so-called eternal life will also be granted to the, our dearly beloved dead, especially this time for my mom, Teresita, and uh, for Tito. Eternal rest grant unto the soul of Teresita, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. May her soul and the soul of Tito and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. 